I wasn't in the roadway, I was, in the, I was over there. Don't make it a bigger issue than what you already have, right here. Do what you're told. Yes, sir. On the journey. The growing group of faith leaders and organizers from all over the state, our brothers and sisters from St. Louis to St. Joe, Jefferson City in Columbia, Springfield to the Boot Hill. I share our love. And uh, they did take it away, but legal advisors were there uh, and got their names, so we'll see what happens with them. But there will be civil disobedience, I'm told. I was, in the, uh, I was in the meeting today where they were going through the training, and there are about, a, I'd say, close to 100 people that are going to be uh, getting arrested today. I'm not sure where. Uh, all of us on this day, we're going to win because there is no space between us. When we are together, we are strong. They won't divide us. Our poor will be heard. Justice will be ours, a justice filled with compassion and love. One day, and that day will come soon, that day of justice will be ours. Yeah. Love thy neighbor as thyself. And I've got, I've got a feeling that these folks have never read that law. Because about two summers ago, the workers in St. Louis won 
a raise in their paycheck. To make it a little bit easier to put food on their table, to make it a little bit easier to put diapers on their children, and our lawmakers, they took that away. Doesn't seem like love of neighbor to me. Does it sound like that to you? That's right, because you cannot love your neighbor while picking their pockets. You cannot love thy neighbor while denying them health care. You cannot love thy neighbor while turning a blind eye to their struggle. So we showed up here to remind them what their neighbor looks like. So, show me what your neighbor looks like. This is what your neighbor looks like. Show me what your neighbor looks like. This is what your neighbor looks like. Show me what your neighbor looks like. This is what your neighbor looks like. Think like. so. We have showed up here today because we believe that the kingdom belongs to us. We believe that the kingdom belongs to the poor. We believe that the kingdom belongs to those who hunger and those who thirst for righteousness. And because we believe this, we will not stop showing up. We will not stop marching. We will not stop because I, I, I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe that we will win. I believe that we will win. Stare down. Is it a hold your phone down? What's that? Is it a hold your phone down? Uh, I don't know. Good one, I guess. You're just sweating a little, you alright? Oh, hold on here. Let me get the EMS up here, check you out or anything? Uh, I'll be alright, thanks. Thanks for your concern. Mostly about you. Yeah. Welcome, Welcome to Jeff City. Let America be America again by my let America be America again. Let it be the dream it used to be. Let it be the pioneer on the plane, seeking a home where he himself is free. America never was America to me. All right. Let it be the great strong land of love. Oh, let my land be the land where liberty is crowned with no false patriotic wreath. But opportunity is real and life is free. Equality is in the air we breathe. There's never been equality for me. No freedom in this homeland of the free. All right. Who are you that mumbles in the dark? And who are you that draws your veil across the stars? I am the poor, white, fooled, and pushed apart. All right. I am the Negro bearing slavery scars. All right. yes. I am the red man driven from the land. Yes. No, that's right. I am the immigrant clutching the hope I seek yes. and finding yes. only the same Oh, stupid plan. Yeah. Of dog eat dog, a mighty crush the weak. I am the farmer, bondsman to the soil. I am the worker, sold to the machine. I am the Negro, servant to you all. I am the people, humble, hungry, mean, hungry, yet today despite the dream, beaten yet today. Yeah. For all the dreams we drum, for all the songs we sung, and all the hopes we had. For all the flags we won, the millions who have nothing for our pay, except the dream that's almost dead today. Yeah. Oh, let America be America again. Let the land that never been yet, and yet must be the land where every man is free. The land that's mine, the poor man's, Indians, Negroes, me, who made America. Whose sweat and blood, whose faith and pain, whose hand at the foundry, whose plow in the rain, must bring back our mighty dream again. Today is a time for a fresh start, for our state to recommit ourselves, each and every one of us, including you in the galleries. We must work together for a better Missouri. Unity, bringing the state together, bringing the legislature together. I thought it was a good speech. I think the governor is a man of integrity, and I think it's something we can work with on the Democratic side of the aisle. Carson talked about Republican legislative victories this year in the Capitol that said disagreements do not have to be harsh. This does not mean 
disregarding our beliefs, moderating our positions. It means debating with respect. Well, he's obviously a nice person who's open to listening, but we're going to be pretty far apart on policy. As Governor Mike Parson, in his first big policy speech, acknowledges the crisis and praises Missouri for working through it. Mike Mahoney, KMBC News, Jefferson City. Tomorrow, the governor begins a statewide listening tour. He will be in Kansas City tomorrow night, talking with community leaders at the Greater Kansas City Chamber of Commerce at 7 p.m. A new report out on school buses. Then nothing. State Highway Patrol nothing about the protests. School buses this year, more than 90% wow. didn't need repairs. Sure, call me an ugly name you choose. The steel of freedom does not stain from those who live like leeches on the people's lives. We must take back our land again, the land of America. Oh yes, I say it plain. America was never America to me, and yet I swear this oath. America will be my America again. Say that. Out of the rack and ruin of our gangster death, the rape and rot of grab, and the stealth and lies, we the people must redeem the land, the mines, the plants, the rivers, the mountains, and the endless plain. All, all the stretch of these great states and make America our America again. that they need to get on board or get out of the way. Yeah. Legislatures in Missouri have preempted minimum wage increases. They've made it harder to vote. They've made it harder to join a union. They've, they've made it much more difficult to enforce discrimination laws. And this needs to stop. We have come together, black and white, brown, gay, Great have come together. People of faith, people of no faith have come together. And we're here today together, not to ask but to demand that we have equal rights. We are here today to demand that living wages become a reality in America. We are here today to demand that unions are treated fairly in America. Because we know that even if we get the raise, we need unions to keep the raise. If I was at my church, I would say something like this. We are marching back into the enemy's camp to take back what he stole from us. And we have marched in the enemy's camp. And we've come to take back everything that the enemy stole from us. We come to take back our unions. We come to take back our wages. We come to take back health care. We've come to make sure that our children receive a quality education. Are you ready to take it back? in case you are not sure on whether you're on the right side of history we stand on the shoulders of great labor movements of the past but even more important than that as I said earlier this morning that we are on the right side because God himself was a laborer God worked for six days and on the seventh day, he rests. God loves laborers because Nehemiah was a laborer. God called Nehemiah to build the wall, not tear down walls. God loves laborers because the apostle Paul was a tent maker. Paul was a laborer. Jesus was a laborer. You are a laborer. Let's go into the street and tell our legislators 
that we want it back. Let's go tell the business community that we want it back. disobedience today you need to be up here at the top of the hill and everybody else fall in right behind them thank you we love you thank you we love you thank you Sweating, you're all right.
Let me see your Frederick Douglass sign. I found it. Oh, nice. It's laying in the ground. Nice. So it up. Good for you. Filming now. Thank you. You've been told to stay out of the roadway. Thank I wasn't you. in the roadway. I was in the, I was Thank over there. You. Don't make it a bigger issue Thank than you. what you already have right here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What Do what you're told. Yes, sir. Can you tell me to turn them off though? I just got detained trying to film the protest. You're up next. All right. Huh? We're getting there. She's next. I feel like I cut. I'm 
Oh my god. Yeah, I need you guys back here unless you want tickets. He just told me to go down here and kind of go down there. I told them I want the lawyers to be down there and out of the way. All the way down the lawyers out of the way, everybody. Alright. Just stand right there for me, please. Alright, excellent. You can give me your ID back. Do you have your ID with you, sir? I do. Okay. Would you like to see yes. it? Yes. All right. Get that out for you. All right. Sir. Thank you. Oh, no problem. It's a good first name, by the way. Oh, thank you. Is that what the S from Wiggle stands for? It does. Oh, one Seth arresting another. How awesome is that? So what happens now? We're gonna take your photograph, you'll wait right here for an officer, an officer will process you and release you on a summons. Okay. That's just taking a picture. Okay. Ready back, sir? ID, grab your belongings, wait right here for an officer to come get you, please. Alright. It's like fun. Please. These are the people who got arrested. Wait, this guy got arrested? Oh, come on now. Me? Yes, sir. Which, who's the next officer? Right there. This guy right here? Guys are very efficient at this arresting thing. <laughs> you going right down there to uh, Officer Joyner there at the canine car. The canine car? Am I going to be processed by a canine? You know, gentlemen? I just put it away. They didn't tell me I'd need it again. All right. It's a resting thing so complicated. There you go, son. There you go, son. Thank you very much. Just hang tight, okay? What's that? Oh, sure. Just hang tight. I will hang as tight as you'd like me to, to hang. A little warm out here. Uh, they're processing me now. They're about to release me, I think. Yeah, I, I got arrested for filming the people who were getting arrested. But I, they, it look, you're about to release me, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm going to come running back to you in just a second. Okay, bye. Could have just gotten in the van, but I had to come back here and film the protest. Next thing you know, what's this ticket going to cost me? Uh, that's up to our court system. Ah, I gotta come all the way back a, to Jefferson City for court, does, huh? Yeah, it does not have a preset fine on <laughs> Hour and a half drive. I'll explain that all to you here just so. Okay. Is the dog with you? No. All right, Mr. Aronson, your court date's going to be at the top of your citation. Okay. It's July 18th this year at 8.30 a.m. in the morning at the City Hall building in Jefferson City. That's very inconvenient. The, a, the address and phone number's here at the top. Okay. Okay. Do you have any questions for me? I, uh, no. Have a nice All right, day. All right, you're free to leave. Thank you. Oh, hey, do you, do you think people should be able to make a living wage? The I'm issuing tickets, man. You need to, you need to bounce. All right, then. All right. What about you guys? you think people should be able to make a living wage? Uh, I'm going to refrain from making a statement. Okay. And they, they are too. know about it because the press Yes. Citation. Yes. yes. Not, yeah. Thank you. Thank yep, you. That's it. All right. We're good. What about? No, you need your driver's license. No, I know, but don't I need the citation? Don't no. I? No, we, we've no, got we'll that. No, we've, we've got your contact. Well, hey, you probably will not have to come Wait, to court. It'll you don't have a yellow arm. Yeah, yeah, I don't. I, I was filming it. That's all. Oh, you're a film. Is Thank that, you very much. Did that put me in a separate right, we'll category? Inside. I was just filming it and the cop who had been giving me, harassing me all day had decided to grab me. Okay, well, well all right. Uh, Any separate category for that or just? Yeah, well, here, I'm going to, you at least are on the un... As bad as this <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. And if you'll write down your... 
your contact information. That's Nicholas Carr. Okay. Okay. Just uh, address or phone number? Uh, everything. Everything so we can reach you. Address, phone number, email. And then I'm going to give you they, one of my cards. And you processed them like they processed okay. everyone else. So they, even without okay. the van, they'd assume he's like Thank you. everyone else. That's right. All right. Thank you very Here's much. My card. So I'll just contact you in a few weeks. Just make sure I'm kosher. Or? Absolutely. And we'll contact you too, Seth. Thank, Thank you, you, man. I appreciate Thank it. You Thank you, gentlemen. Hey, oh, yeah. Good, good idea. Excuse me, sir. I want to cross to the crosswalk here.